Shapes are everywhere. So it's important we can recognise the different shapes and describe their features. My name's Misty and this is another For the Love of Learning video. Hi Pig and Roo, are you ready to get on with some learning? Let's go! In this video we're going to explore 2D shapes. So we really need to know what a 2D shape is. 2D stands for two dimensional and it's just a fancy way of saying flat. It means that the shape only has one face. For example, this triangle, we know it's a 2D shape because it doesn't stick out from the page. It's only got one face. This makes it much easier to draw. Hi Roo, hi Pig. Do either of you notice anything about this triangle? Roo says it's got three sides. She's absolutely right. What about you Pig? Pig says the triangle's got three corners. Correct again. In maths, we call corners on a 2D shape vertices. So we can say this triangle has three sides and three vertices. Okay, what about this shape? Is it also a triangle? Well, it's got three sides and three vertices, but it looks a little bit different from the other triangle. Yes, it's still a triangle. Three sides, three vertices. Roo and Pig, I'm going to set you a challenge. Are you ready? Your task is to try and find something with a triangle on it. No, Roo, it's, it's not a race. O okay, she wants to race. You can join in at home as well if you like. Pause the video now. Okay, five, four, whoa, Roo, that was fast. Okay, let's see what we've got. Pig, do you want to go first? Oh, that looks like a triangle to me. I can see three vertices and three sides. Well done, Pig. Okay, Roo, you're up. Hmm, something about that looks a little bit funny, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Well, it's got three vertices and three sides. Oh, I know what it is. One of the sides has a gap in it. In order for it to be a 2D shape, all of the sides need to meet and there needs to be no holes. Sorry, Roo, that's not a triangle. Let's look at another shape and see what we can find out. We've got up here a square. What do we notice about this square? Well, I can see it's got four sides. It's also got four vertices. Interesting. There's something else that's special about a square. Can you spot it? Ah, all four sides are the same length and that's really important. Okay, let's have a look at another shape. This one has also got four sides and it's got four vertices. Does that make it a square? Hmm, hang on. The sides aren't all the same length, and remember, we said that's really important. This isn't a square. This is called a rectangle. So what do we know so far? Well, both a square and a rectangle have four sides and four vertices. But there's a key difference. A square has sides that are all the same length. Right, your turn to have a go at home now. I'm gonna put some shapes up on the board and I want you to either tell the screen or an adult, do you think they're squares or do you think they're rectangles? Pause the video now. Welcome back, let's take a look at this together. So, this one up here must be a square because it has four vertices, four sides, but it's also all of the sides of the same length. Whereas that one down there, it does have four vertices, it does have four sides, however, they're not the same length, so it must be a rectangle. But did you notice the one in the middle? I was trying to catch you out, did it work? It actually has five sides, so although they're all the same length, it's got five, so it's not a square, it's also not a rectangle. This shape is called a pentagon. It has five sides, and you might have noticed it also has five vertices. Hello, Roo. What's that? You've got a question? Fire away. Hmm. Roo's just asked, do all shapes have the same amount of vertices as they do sides? Well, you know what, Roo? I'm not sure. It's a great question. I think we might need to do a little investigation to find out. 
So first we had our triangle, didn't we? And that had three sides and three vertices. Hmm, okay. Same amount of sides as vertices, but I think we need to test a few more shapes. Next we had our square and our rectangle. They both had four sides and four vertices. Okay, it's looking pretty promising. Let's keep going. And then we had our pentagon. Our pentagon had five sides and five vertices. Hmm. It looks to me like all shapes do have the same amount of sides and vertices, but let's test one shape that maybe we haven't looked at yet. What do you think, Pig? Let's look at this one. Well, Pig, how many sides does it have? Okay, one. Therefore, it must have one vertice. What, what do you mean you can't find it, Pig? Pig, just look a little bit harder. It must be there. Come on, Pig, it's right. Oh, you know what, Pig? I can't see it either. This is called a circle, and a circle has one side that goes all the way around and meets itself. But it doesn't have any vertices because a vertice is formed when two sides meet each other. How interesting. And it is quiz question time. Now this quiz question is particularly challenging, so you're going to need to use all of your shape knowledge to help you. I'm gonna be thinking of a shape and you've got to try and guess what the shape is. I will give you some clues though. So first clue, my shape has the same amount of sides as it does vertices. Second clue, my shape has an even number of vertices. Third clue, my shape's sides are not all the same length. Pause the video if you think you need a little bit more time. Welcome back, and drum roll please. Pig, are you on sound effects? I think you pressed the wrong button. Drum roll please. There we go. It is a rectangle. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really enjoyed learning about 2D shapes. We can't wait to see you next time. Bye for now.